John Getter, head coach of the gold medal U.S. women's gymnastics team at the London Olympics, was supposed to be arraigned in a Michigan courtroom this afternoon. The 63-year-old never showed to face 24 criminal counts, including lying to police about his friend and former trainer, convicted sex offender Larry Nasser. Gettert's body was found this afternoon after taking his own life, said Michigan's Attorney General, calling the discovery a tragic end to a tragic story for everyone involved. Just hours earlier, the Attorney General announced she was charging Gettert with human trafficking, sexual assault, racketeering, and lying, all connected to his years as an elite gymnastics coach in the Lansing area. We hope that these charges will bring some measure of uh, justice to some of the harm that was inflicted. I interviewed Sarah Klein before news of Gettert's death. She says she was abused by Nasser starting at age eight while practicing at Gettert's gym. She insists Gettert had to know what was going on. He saw a small child alone, naked, with a grown man, time after time after time. Did he ever ask you about that, what was going on in that back room? Never, never, not one time. He did not want to know. Gettert in the past insisted he had zero knowledge of Nasser's crimes, crimes that damaged so many of the young girls and women he coached. Nasser is now in prison, sentenced to serve more than 100 years. Ann Thompson, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.